Okay, this time we're factoring a four-term polynomial expression. And there's two methods I'm gonna show you. But the first one is called grouping. So basically you start with doing just that. You start with grouping. So around my pieces, I'm going to put what groups us together. Now, if I left it like that, that would mean that this is multiplied by this, but I don't want that to be the case. So I'm going to insert this little piece here to remind me that I need to rewrite all of this. Because um, if I do not rewrite, then I will forget that those pieces are separated and I will end up with the wrong example finished. Okay, so then we factor these out just like we've done before. So they both share a three and an X is their greatest common factor. So that leaves me with a two and an X dividing and divide that into there and you get a one. Now I'm gonna come over here. So I'm gonna take out the negative and they both share a two. So that leaves me with this divided by a negative two is two X. This divided by a negative two is a positive one. Okay, I know I'm on the right track when this one matches this one. So I'm gonna write those first. And then I'm gonna put my extra pieces, my outside pieces together in a separate one. And I can do this because this is multiplied to this and this is multiplied to that. So rewriting it like this way, grouping wise, it's this multiplied to both of these. All right, so let's do that same thing over here. So we had 6x squared minus, I'm sorry, plus 3x minus 4x minus 2. So I've already primed a couple of my boxes because I always want to remember my first and last terms are here. And then where you put these two pieces, uh, it doesn't really matter. You just want to be consistent with your with your work so that it's easier for you to manipulate. Okay, so coming across, I'm gonna find the factors that they share in this direction. They share a three and they share an X. And down here, they share a negative two and that's it. So up top here, going this direction, they share a two and an X would be their greatest common factors. And here, the only thing that they would share would be a one. So when we put those pieces together, I'm going to write this as one parenthesis, and what we have up here is our second parenthesis. Although they're written backwards of each other, they are the same, and multiplication order does not matter. So we did it correctly.